Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello guys, today in this particular video, we will learn a very simple topic that is applications of PN junction diode. As far as PN junction diode is concerned, we have learned the conceptual manner, conceptual study of PN junction diode. Now the time to study what are the applications, real world applications of the diode that we'll have to implement. <music> Now we will learn one by one by one the applications of PN junction diode and the overview of the applications of PN junction diode. More than that, we have to learn each and every application in a separate video lecture. The first application is rectifier. Diode is used in rectifier circuit. Now before learning that diode is used in a rectifier circuit, you should know that what is rectifier, right? So basically rectifier is nothing but the circuit which is used to convert the AC signal into pulsating DC signal. So rectifier is Here pulsating word is very important because rectifier is not as it is very easily it will not convert the AC signal into DC signal to convert that AC signal into DC signal I would require rectifier followed by filter as well. So we'll learn that filter later on just I will draw a simple half wave rectifier then you will get to know that how exactly that diode is playing a vital role in the rectifier circuit. This is a simple rectifier that I am forming with a simple load that is resistor. If I am giving input that is VI, my output is coming across the resistance RL. So this Namakiran of resistance is RL. Now as the diode is unidirectional device, I know that in only positive half cycle of this particular input signal, this diode will conduct. So for positive half cycle, diode D1 will conduct and for negative half cycle, diode D1 will be reverse bias, it will not conduct. So this is how if this is the AC signal and I am getting only one half of the AC signal and another half I am getting zero value. So here I am converting that full wave into half wave that means positive as well as negative half cycle is getting converted into one only half positive half cycle. So this is all about the half wave rectifier further we will have to study half wave rectifier, full wave rectifier, bridge rectifier in another videos as well. So this is the first application of PN junction diode. Now followed by this rectifier another application that we have to learn for pn junction diode is clippers now question arises what is clipper circuit clipper is nothing but the circuit which is used to clip off the voltage that means for example if i am applying the ac signal which is 5 volt plus 5 volt and minus 5 volt peak to peak right but at the output I don't want the output which is more than 4 volts then above 4 volt signal I will clip off that means I will get the signal let's say this is 4 volts and this peak value is of 5 volt then above 4 volt I will clipped off and I will get the DC value rest all the signal part is remain as it is so I'm not going to change the shape of the signal but just I'm clipping off the portion which I want to clip so this is called as clipper further in the classification there are two types of clipper positive and negative clipper parallel and series clipper that we will learn in detail about the clipper circuit but keep this in mind that this clipper is nothing but the application of pn junction diode the next very important application is clamper so third application is clamper circuit 
clamp circuit is basically changing the reference voltage level of the input signal so basically if i have the input signal with respect to zero volts as a reference voltage then i can enhance that complete waveform towards positive side or towards negative side right and that is called as clamper without changing the shape of the input signal that is very important this clamper is basically it's nothing but I am not at all interested to change the shape of the signal. So this is very very important part of this definition of clamper. Again in the clamper circuit we have positive clamper, we have negative clamper. So if you want to clamp towards the positive side we will be using positive clamper. If you want to use it at the negative clamper then we will use at the negative side clamping. This is all about the clamper circuit. Here we have the another passive component that I'll have to use along with the diode is nothing but the capacitor. So diode plus capacitor which gives you the clamper circuit. This is third application of diode. Fourth important application that we have to focus is nothing but the protection circuit. As diode is a unidirectional device, many a time we use for protection circuit. A simple circuit that we generally use it as a snubber circuit. Snubber circuit is nothing but an inductor which is connected to switch. So suppose if we say one inductor which is connected to let's say DC supply and a switch. Okay. Now what will happen if I press this switch down, this is DC supply, right? Abrupt change in the voltage across this inductor will lead to change the current flowing through the inductor. Because I know that what is the current flowing through the inductor, I know that voltage across inductor VL is equal to L into DI by DT. Right? So if I say there is very very high change in the current as switch is moving from T is equal to 0 to T is equal to 0 plus. Let us say at T is equal to 0 we will be having let's say 0 minus just before switching T is equal to 0 minus we will be having current I is equal to 0 right and at t is equal to 0 plus if this voltage is very very high so at t is equal to 0 plus what will happen switch gets closed when switch gets closed then current is very very high if current is high then can i say that this di by dt is very very high if this di by dt is very very high then obviously voltage across this inductor is very high and that can lead to convert this electrostatic energy into heat or light energy. So that can cause the very high amount of current flow through the inductor will again lead to damage this complete circuit and that's why what do we prefer we prefer to use one diode across it right so if we apply one diode right then what will happen current will flow through this diode until we will be getting the transients gets die out that means very high amount of current which is flowing will get this transients and again will be getting zero the same thing will get happen when switch is moving from closed switch to open switch then in that case as well current is moving in another direction right and in that case this diode 
will give us the protection circuit such that current will only flow through this circuit and this will lead to protect the circuit from the damage. So this is how the one example with which we can use the diode as protection circuit and this complete circuit is called as a snubber circuit with inductor. So these are nothing but the applications of diode. I have just pointed out four applications of diode and into these four applications of diode there are so many subsections with which we can use the diode. Diode can also be used in various applications such as the timer circuit diode can be used in various applications such as the communication circuit diode also can be used as a, a another voltage regulator circuit but that particular diode is the zener diode that is a special diode that we'll have to learn so we'll stop here we have learned so many applications of the diode in the electric circuit so we will learn more and more videos with respect to diode numericals and these applications in detail as well. Thank you so much for watching this particular video. Learn more and more EDC1 along with me along with EKW videos. Thank you so much.